and welcome to my new Let's Play of Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Uh, this is the 8th Fire Emblem in the series, we actually skipped over quite a few. Uh, 1 through 6 weren't released in the US, except for Shadow Dragon, the first game was released as a DS remake. Not very good, actually, because the game is really, really old. Uh, and 7 is actually a game I've played really recently, so I don't really feel like revisiting it immediately. So this game, on the other hand, uh, was given out for early adopters of the 3DS. So that was September 2011 when the price drop happened. Uh, and then the GBA games, I think, were released in, like, winter that year? So it's been a good five years since I've played this game. So, uh, there are three difficulty modes right off the bat. Easy, normal, and difficult. We are going normal because, uh, I don't need tutorials because I've played this game way too much. <laughs> i played this franchise way too much, more specifically. In an age long past, evil flooded over the land. Creatures awash in the dark, tide, ran wild, pushing mankind to the brink of annihilation. In its despair, mankind appealed to the heavens, and from a blinding light came hope. The Sacred Stones These five glorious treasures held the power to dispel evil. The hero Corrado and his warriors used the Sacred Stones to combat evil's darkness. They defeated the Demon King and sealed his soul away within the stones. With the darkness imprisoned, peace returned to Mogfell. But this peace would not last. So that's our introduction. Now we're getting into the heart of what the game actually looks like. The continent of Magvel. For some 800 years, a quiet peace reigned in the absence of the terrible darkness. Sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been built around their power and their legacy. The kingdom of Renai, ruled by Fado, the peerless warrior king. The kingdom of Frelia, ruled by Hayden, the venerable sage king. The kingdom of Chahana, ruled by Ismer, queen of the white dunes. The Theocracy of Ralston, ruled by Mansell, the Divine Emperor. I just wanted to point out that uh, Ismer is the only one that doesn't get a really cool title. The Grand Empire, ruled by Vigard, the stalwart, silent emperor. She's just the Queen of the White Dunes. The others are all described by character traits, not by location. So I find that a little bit weird. Just saying. These five countries house the power of the Sacred Stones. They are joined by the emerging Mercantile Republic of Carcino. In these times of peace, tales of past conflict have drifted into legend. And memories of the ancient dark arts have all but evaporated. It is now the year 803. In an instant, the whole of Magfell is threatened by an unexpected atrocity. The Grand Empire, the largest of the Sacred Stone nations, has invaded the Kingdom of Renai under orders from Emperor Vigard. And it's actually Vigard, but Vigard to me sounds better. Uh, a longtime ally of Grado, Renai is caught off guard, unable to mount any resistance. Grado's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. Compounding King Father's worries, his son, Prince Ephraim, has gone missing. Grado's momentum carries its armies to the gates of Castle Renai itself. And I will fall. It is inevitable. Prologue. The Fall of Renai. So we will be doing one chapter per video, so we'll just be doing the prologue this video, by the way. Thought I'd make note of that. Renai Castle. Your Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Emperor Vigard's forces are within the castle walls. Understand. The garrison has fallen, we've lost contact with Prince Ephraim and 
can expect no aid from his men. Your Majesty, what do we do? What else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. Father! Erica, are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Yes, I have it right here. Good. Seth. Yes, your majesty. Take Erica and head for Frelia. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. What of your majesty? Me? I shall remain here. We have long held Grotto among our dearest allies, yet now they attack? I must know why. Am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? When I is mine to guide, how could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay. You mustn't. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth. Ride. Take her to safety. Father! Forgive me, your highness. I don't know who that's directed to. If it's directed to Erica for taking her to safety against her wishes, or forgive me to the king for abandoning him. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. General Seth! France, run ahead and bring word of our coming to Frelia. A, a single rider has better, better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne all that has happened here and petition for reinforcements. Understood. Princess Erica, we must. Quickly behind me! You there with the girl, tell me, would you be the wayward princess of Renai? Man, this must be my lucky day. You're a dead man. The winch goes with me. Never! So we get our first look at the battle screen. I am Vulture the Moonstone, Grada's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. So that missed. Uh, 62% hit chance is actually pretty bad in Fire Emblem. <laughs> You'll learn that very quickly. Ah! No! Such terrible wounds that still he holds his duty. <laughs> How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away to try to outrun death. More time to save the hunt. And the kill. Princess, Erica, this way. I can see no more of Grado's men. If we made it this far, we've surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive me. Forgive my grabbing you so brusquely earlier. Don't be foolish, Seth. If it weren't for you, I would never have made it out of the castle. You are the reason I'm still alive. You have my gratitude. And whoever that man was, he was clearly after me. It's my fault that you received such a grave wound. I'm treated. I... Your Highness, I can't allow an injury like this to be an obstacle. We have more important matters to attend to. We must press on to Frelia. We must fulfill His Majesty's wishes. I wonder how my father fares alone in the castle. Do you think he's safe? And what of my brother on the Grado front? We've heard nothing from him for days. King Father and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. Without even the might of the Grado Empire can hold them in check. More important to me, Your Highness, is that you're that you look to your own safety. How sad the two of them would be if something were to happen to you. We must reach Felia to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course, you're right. Till I'm united with my father and brother, I must not despair. Come come, Seth, let us go. Once we cross that bridge, we will be in Felia, near border Mulan. Let's proceed, Princess Erica. Your Highness, I won't lie to you, this will not be an easy ride. Please take this rapier. If something should happen to me, you must continue to Felia, alone if need be. You there, and I dogs, where do you think you're going? Cry those men. Send back, Princess Erica. It's alright, Seth. My brother has taught me something of swordplay. I will stand with you. So we're thrown right into battle because this is normal mode, so we don't actually really get a whole lot of tutorials even. Part of the reason I picked it because I know exactly what I'm doing. So you got this whole grid based thing. I think in some games you can actually set the grid a bit uh, more thick, but in this particular one you can't. Uh, so yeah, just leave all that stuff on I guess. Let's see, okay, so if you press A, you move to that square, you're given the op option to use an item or attack, uh, gotta equip that, might as well. You actually auto-equip stuff, but I just wanted to show that off that you can. 
Uh, so all this information, you have your HP, your, your attack power, your hit chance, and your crit chance. Um, 39 doesn't sound like much, but this is Fire Emblem, so we will probably get hit here. Uh, so we actually dodged. Erica is actually a pretty quick character, so she actually attacks twice per turn. Uh, if you're wondering why we're not using Seth, he is actually a class called a Paladin. Paladins are a second stage. Uh, the first stage being a Cavalier, which we'll be learning more about next time. Uh, because of that, his gains aren't as good. It's like in Pokemon, how if you have like a Pokemon that you raise from level 1, it's IVs or EVs, whichever one, will be better, and thus it will actually be stronger than a pre-evolved one at the same level. All that's left is a leader. So I'm intentionally doing some RNG manipulation here. Not RNG manipulation, enemy manipulation. Peaks, forests, uh, forts, and gates, which we'll be learning about next time, uh, provide additional defense and evasion, respectively. So I'm actually intentionally moving Erica here. If I move Erica here, this guy will be in the forest and will have a higher chance of being able to dodge our attacks, which is not good. What was that? Do you think you can take me, wretched lordling? Come, it's time you high and mighty knights learn to respect the true warrior! So he gets the first attack. He'll be the first to die. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually fixed that that attack will hurt you. So, uh, yeah. That's actually a fixed thing. Um, because this is still sort of a tutorial, and if I'm not mistaken, this is a fixed crit. Or not. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm thinking of easy mode. Because when I did play the game originally, it was on easy mode. Um, also, I don't think you can actually die. I think it's like rigged, so you actually dodge this. So this should be a crit. Okay. So, I'm, I was kind of right. What? How? So got a lot of experience. We'll get into that a little bit later, though. All right now. I should go over the level up really quickly, uh, yeah, you level up every 100 e EXP, though EXP gain per battle goes down as you level up. So it's a fixed level up like Paper Mario, but the amount of experience you get goes down every time you level up. It's like, yeah, it's like Paper Mario, it's intelligence systems after all. Princess, are you injured? What? Oh no, I'm fine, Seth. But you look so pale. Well, she did just get hit by a battle axe, I just want to point that out. I'm fine. Fine. This is war, isn't it? It's not at all like the games I used to play with my brother, Lion. We won't learn who Lion is until a little bit later. I never thought. I didn't know it'd be this... savage. Our war is useless. Is strength all that matters? It's so sad. Why did the Grotto Empire do this? To what end would they start a war? Princess. Don't worry, Seth. I won't give in to sorrow. Let us get moving. I'm not broken and I won't stop until I see Renai restored. I won't stop until I'm reunited with my brother my father and brother. I almost a brother and father, I guess. Um So we're given the option to save, uh, but this will actually immediately start the next chapter. So we're actually gonna end here. I know it's a really short video, uh, but uh I'm gonna try to keep things very self-contained. In all honesty, this is actually the third time I'm actually recording this because I accidentally started chapter 1 and didn't really find a good place to stop, so I accidentally, like, messed that up. So I want to keep, in this recording, I want to keep everything contained to one chapter, so we will start chapter 1 next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones.